Uh, today we are going to talk about um, a, a GPT that uh, predated uh, ChatGPT and the likes. It's been in existence for quite a long time now, and it's been one of the oldest GPTs around, uh, which is quite good uh, for um, finding journals, finding reviewers, and finding collaborators. So uh, today our focus is about how to use this uh, GPT to find uh, journals, to also um, suggest the reviewers for manuscripts that you're submitting or to also find their collaborators for you, for your work so if you're struggling to find a reviewer if you're struggling to find appropriate journal for to, where to submit your work to or find collaborators you use Jane Bow Semantics so what is Jane Bow Semantics? Jane Bow Semantics is, um, is simply uh, a specialized GPT that is designed for interpreting biomedical and life sciences literature. So it's uh, basically working with PubMed. PubMed. So um, and then it's named after Jane. The J is for the journal, the A is for the author, and the N is for name. Y E is estimator. So Jane too simply journal author name estimator and it it integrates uh, bio ontology gene disease mapping and semantic uh, network so the key features of uh, jane bio semantics are uh, it is uh, useful for suggesting relevant journal for manuscript submission it can extract semantic meaning from biomedical literature not just biomedical but it can uh, crawl into other sciences as well and it can map our genes, protein, diseases, and biological processes. And um, it utilizes created biomedical databases like PubMed and the likes. And it has its own limitation as well because it's dependent on available biomedical ontologies and data sets. So, which means it might not be able to crawl into stuff like Scopus or Web of Science. And it requires structured biomedical queries to obtain the best results. And of course, it's not intended for clinical decision making. So let's jump to bio, um, Jane bio, uh, bio semantic. So if you go online and if you type Jane uh, biosemantic .org, it comes up. And this is what it looks like. And you can see from here that it's actually journal authored name estimator too. Um, you can read about it um, and why, how it works. So there are three routes to using it, in my opinion. One is that you can insert the title of your paper and try to use it to find papers that, um, uh, that are in your field. You can put in your abstract and also find it based on abstract, and then you can use keywords. You can use keywords like normal literature um, search. So let's try to use um, title. So assuming somebody is working in the field of um, uh, precaution now, so um, impact of artificial intelligence in agricultural um uh inventory inventorization let's see for example if there's something like that and then you have uh, the option of finding journals so if you click on find journals it's going to list make a list of um journals right and then it's uh, going to make a list of the journal and also tell you the index where the journal is from so this journal is currently indexed in medline so it works with medline remember we said they are medical databases so it was reviewed by nlm at some point in time however authors should assess the journal listed to ensure they are not predatory journal there is a warning on this website that because you're using pubmed it's also possible that some predatory journals will crawl in so you have to watch out for those so um it's going to list them in terms of their confidence level for example article influence what does that mean it measures how often articles in the journal are cited within the first five years after its publication so it's you can look at that from here and it gives you the values for each of them 
and also give you a link to check related articles that were published in that particular journal so here is a JAMA uh, pediatrics so if you go to show articles it's going to give you a list of all the articles also in terms of their similarity to research so like what we have here is a strategy for artificial intelligence with clinical impact eyes on the price an overhacking framework for the ethics of artificial intelligence in pediatrics so that's not what we are interested in uh, frontiers in artificial intelligence let's look at this and then artificial intelligence at work the problem of managerial control from call centers to transport uh, platforms sustainable artificial intelligence in finance impact of esg factors so these are more or less like good for your literature review you can hide that and it has marked where all of them have been indexed in pmc uh, which is also um, um, a medical platform and you can scroll down till you find something that you are interested in and you can select all, all of them and export them as citation hmm? alternatively you can just click here to perform another search let's try to do another search but this time around we're going to use a key word. so let's say um, machine learning uh, seismic interpretation in deep water environment so we use still use type 2 but this time around we want to find the authors so if you click on find authors it's going to give you a list of authors that are published on that and at the top most of them is john cpa it will tell you about the confidence level give you access to if the email is listed you can click here and find the email of that author and suggest them as a um, reviewer for your paper so now this is the email for that particular author and the last time this email was verified was in 2021 and you can check the article also it's going to lead you to the article for that uh, for that uh, publication for that uh, author right um you can also see some of their other publications right so you have johnson pa uh, machine learning reviews the seismic signature of erupt eruptive behavior at python um lab laboratory earthquake forecasting and exponential build up in seismic energy suggests and these are the work of um, Johnson we can scroll back and also find articles straight away articles that are on deep water um, environment so we'll save deep water environment and we just say find articles and it's going to list I'm sure it's going to list one of Kumar's paper so a machine learning tool for interpretation of mass transport deposit yeah and then seismic anisotropy prediction using ml methods research on intelligent semi-active control algorithms and all of them seismic characterization of carbonate strangers and then you can scroll and pick all the papers that you want so you can check them check them check them check them and then you export the citations to wherever you want to uh, we can click again to do uh, another search but this time around we just use keywords right so yeah it's saying click here to search using keywords so you can say okay a suggestion like two more truth um, something and we say find journals find authors find articles let's say find authors and it's going to give us a list of authors Shen, Wang, Wu, Liu, Shang, Slam, Slamet, Laila, Abdullah and, um, and then it will give you a link to all their publications so these are publications by Shen HC Humor Styles and, um, and uh, Marital Satisfaction Appreciation of Different Styles of um, Humor Effectiveness of Humor Training Among Adolescents uh, with Autism uh, okay so um you can one thing you should watch out for is that um because j relies on the data in pubmed which can contain papers from pre predatory journals uh therefore these journals can appear in j's results so to help identify high quality journals 
Jane now tags journals that are currently indexed in Medline and Open Access Journal approved by DOAG, which is Directory of Open Access Journal. So that's the essence for this tagging that you have here. So you need to look at those ones that are tagged and the ones that are not tagged, you need to be careful about them. Maybe they are predatory in nature, right? Because they've crawled into PubMed. Um, this is it. Uh, use uh, Jane to find um, journals uh, related to the work that you're doing. Uh, you have the option of extra options here. Yeah? If you want to find in language, before I go, you can choose the language that you that where they were published in, or you want to publish in. Maybe it's in French, in Germany, uh, in German, in Spanish, in Japanese, or Italian. And you can also select um, things like case studies, trials, you know. But these are more or less um, skewed towards uh, the medical sciences. So you have to be careful here, right? And there might not be any need to use them. And you can also limit the search only to open access journals or even exclude open access journals, right? So if you type in the title of the work, you can immediately exclude open access uh, journals. Try this out. Let me have a feedback on how it goes and remember to listen to the ethical um, advice. Thank you and see you soon. Bye. AI can help you think faster but not think less. It can be your creative mirror, not your intellectual crutch. Let it support your curiosity, not suppress your judgment. Stay bold, stay ethical, and above all, stay curious. Uh, click the like button, share the video with your friends, make comments on areas to improve, and if you have suggestions on other tools you want me to look at, let me know. Thank you, and uh, stay blessed. Bye. <music>